Hello YouTube, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Cav Bob Plays, this game where he is about to fight the British, sort of. We're going to end the turn, because that seems like the smartest thing to do, but first we're going to go and look at our policies and make sure, ooh, Poland, why are you angry all the time? Why are you always angry? Well, there's nothing we can do to save you from being pissed off. However, Mito could stand to be a little less happy. Look at that. They love me. All over Ka Cowerland. So what we're going to do is we're totally going to fight the British now. Except we're going to let them attack us. They will attack us because it's the... AI and that's what the AI does. Now, we're gonna let our spy walk to our dude, I guess. Alright, these guys. Hmm, we could fight this out. Let's see. I have way fewer men, so we're just gonna go ahead and retreat. <laughs> okay. It's the British. Sir Arthur Wellesley against Gerard von Scharnhorst. Von Shiny Horse. Now they have a whole bunch of dudes. They outnumber me by about a hundred or so. I have three cannon. I have way more experience for all my troops because frankly these guys are fresh off the boat from Limey Land, which is over here. I'd show you, but I can't. So we're going to fight these damn Limey Brits. Because that's what we do in this society. The attacker is, of course, Arthur Wellesley, also known as the dog and Napoleon's lackey. And Jerry, the shiny horse, is going to defend the Prussian conquest of Cowerland or Mito or whatever the crap it is. You know, I was looking at the saves, and several dozen turns ago, actually we're on turn 24, so it would be like a few turns ago, we controlled a lot more land area, personally, which is kind of a bummer. Anyway, let's have a look here. Now, we could hide behind the houses and force them to come here and just blast them with our cannons, but I think our best bet is going to be to set up over in this corner in a nice tight line and let them come to us. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to have our cab like yes, that. Sir. We're going to have our cannon out and immediately deployed yes, in that direction. I think we'll have all of our light infantry and this one guy over here. No, oh, I gotta do this different. Wham! We'll do it like that and then we'll set them up individually. And then these guys will all go over here and set them up. Start battle and insta-pause. Now as you can see, they have set up to meet us. That's okay though, because... You're the one going up? Okay, you're not gonna go up. You're gonna come over here. Help us out with that little problem. And then... Prussian, hang on, we'll go like that, just so we know who's going where. Then we'll get our light infantry. Like that. And we'll get this one unit way over here on the edge. And play. 
That's right, I totally paused for the first time in this entire video series. Just because I'm fighting stupid the Duke. <clears throat> now, my cavalry, we're gonna move around a little bit here. We're gonna keep our general. Get him out, stop. Actually, we might send our general over to this line. I think this line is more likely to flee. Move these cavalry. Okay. This little unit of cavalry will put with the general on this flank here. What? And these guys keep on this end. Just because I have a feeling like these cavalry here are going to be racing forward to try and outflank us. That's kind of why I put these guys on the edge too, because I'll be able to like really quickly and effectively box them. Now, why don't you guys go ahead and show me your range? Not very good range. It's okay though. As soon as he's in range, we will start shooting at him. Look at him trying to move out of the way. What a rube. Okay. Fast forward. Here they come. They're all doomedish. They're gonna try and outflank my massive line over on this side. They're gonna run right at my armed citizenry. That's ridiculous. Okay. Fire away. Joseph's. Who the hell were you shooting? Oh, they had horse over there. Hey, we killed a bunch of their horse that were over there. Seriously, shoot at the guys in the goddamn middle. Where's their general after all? Hey, he's kind of prancing around outside of the uh, range of my tank. Oh, that was a good one. That a couple dozen more times. Which targets will you guys pick? If we can knock Arthur Wellesley out, then this whole thing gets a lot easier. I'm losing some dudes. Oh, Jesus Christ. I wonder if I should, hmm. You know what, we're gonna. We're going to race these guys up this side to get it down. Come on, tell me you're hitting their general at least. Not yet.
What the hell? So be it. I really don't like this. <laughs> Three dudes to those guys. I think the chances are that we'll get those guys unmolested. Only one way to find out, says I. Meanwhile. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Well, that's better than the alternative, I suppose. Artillery reporting. Artillery fleeing, more like. They're on to me. So far, so good, I guess, ish. Our men are running, sir. Oh, there goes those horses. I wonder if they did their job. They did. We got this one unit of artillery just pounding at us. And that is all. Okay, you guys are going to do that. You know, if you guys wanted to shoot your cannon some more, that'd be okay, too. That'll do. I would flee if I was you guys. Hey, look, Arthur Wellesley is fleeing. That's less good. I was hoping to get him. Units has used all its ammunition, sir. Units has used all its ammunition, sir. We have units. What the hell, right? I don't think I'll be needing them. Come on, come on, come on, come on, break, damn you.
Our men are running for them. Of course they're running. They're fearful little bastards. They're probably originally British. I don't know where you guys are going, but stop it. Anything to save the my men dudes? are fatigued, sir. I must rest I don't care. They need to not be such pussies. They're only fighting the British. Heh. <laughs> I probably have English viewers. I apologize. Ish. Recruit, men! Wait, that Limey's for everything just made sense. Get him, 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 get him. And we win. Stop what you're doing. Oh. Glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. And battle now. Heroic victory. Hooray. Yay, go me. Okay, gentlemen may be ordered to duel with others. Oh, I thought that was a quote. <laughs> Touche. Non quote. We sind mächtig und okay. unbesiegt. Arthur Wellesley, you lost almost all of your men, and I only lost half my men. Clearly, I am the better general. Oh, look, it's the Russians. Look at what they're doing. They're doing all kinds of crazy shit. Stuff. They're doing all kinds of crazy stuff. No, I mean shit. They're doing crazy shit. Boo, Denmark. Ooh, that's a massive Danish army. Mmm, massive Danish. My army was sabotaged. Oh, and the Danube base. Antonio Pinto, an enemy agent has been discovered. Workers on strike in Greater Poland. Brandenburg, you are better. Okay. Now. I think we'll just go ahead and kill Arthur Wellesley. And I can't get these guys out of here, can I? Damn. Open. Out. That's not good, actually. Uh-oh. Kebab has bad fee wings. Open. Hmm. Fuck it. Fuck it. I'm the king of all Prussia. Where is Blutcha? Right, he's wounded, isn't he? Shit. Um. That sucks. Alright, well, let's go kill the rest of the British. And then... There is literally... What? Where did Wellesley go? Maybe I got him. Yeah, we better fight this one out. Nah, we'll awesome. right. Get back in town. Oh shit. <laughs> okay then. You don't have to get back into town. I trust you to not need to get back into town. Um, well, I don't think there's anything else that I can afford to upgrade except for building that great thingy. Oh, I can repair that in Greater Poland. Hey, they're happy again. Oh look, a gunsmith again, in Königsberg. Hey, a Spanish spy, you rat bastard. 
logging camp. Yes. Alright. And that is the end of that turn. Um. Hmm. I don't know what I'll do next. Can't exactly march on. Edward Mortier. Um. Next turn I'll deal with Oldenburg. And then we can start setting our sights on the Danes with this massive Brandenburgian army. I guess that's what I'll do with that. I'll keep this army down here for now, I suppose. Or I could go to Bohemia. Could I get to Bohemia? What's the fastest way? Yeah, that's the fastest way. So we could go to Bohemia. Uh, make these armies meet and deal with the Austrians. I think that might be a good plan. And, uh... Yes. You know, I don't remember sending these guys out to deal with those dudes. Oh well. Yeah, my lord. Hey, cool. Can we meet these guys up? Not quite. Next turn, though. Bloop, and then bloop. Then we'll have four dudes in there. That sounded awkward and dirty. That we can reinforce this army with. I mean, they're all militia, but... Militia's better than nothing. Am I right? I'm right. I'm always right. I'm not right this time. Okay. We could go and take this trading thing. I wonder if that will help me. Probably I will get attacked by the British fleet. Oh well. Okay, thanks for watching, and next turn we'll see if I get attacked by the British fleet. Or those Russians that are right there. We're gonna get attacked by the Russians that are right there. Balls. I just wanna see one thing. Do we have an income? From that? I don't know how to tell. Wow, I sure am making lots of other goods. If that's cotton. Well, that's tobacco. It looks like cotton. I don't know how to tell how much money I'm getting from that. Okay, why is Silesia going to revolt? Oh, I took the dudes out, and now they're going to revolt. Or burn things. I don't know. Whatever. Fuck it. Thanks for watching, and next time we will deal with all the fires that we have just caused in our own land.